Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. I have not done a, uh, I guess, room tour since I have completely got moved into my scrap shed. Um, it's been about two years now, and I have uh, moved things around quite a bit and changed things several times. And I thought while it was halfway clean right now, I would go ahead and do a little tour nothing fancy so just bear with me and um, this is the view when you walk inside the door I'm just gonna step out just a little bit and give you just a little view here and when you come in I have three shelves which I have not painted yet and they're just right there above the my work areas but um I just got some of those little dollar baskets that you can get from Walmart and some 31 totes that hold different things. I'm actually going to label those baskets up there. I have just have not done it yet. I just uh, reconfigured my room and added those up there. But anyways, let's come down. And this is my desk area. Nothing fancy. I'm eventually going to have that bin right there that holds stamps on both sides. I'm gonna have them going all the way across with my Fun Stampers Journey stamps and dies. Um, but right now, it's empty. And as most of these drawers and stuff are empty, <laughs> like I said, I just got through redoing my room. When you come down this wall here, I've got more cubes that I've had for years. Um, as they are, tearing up or wearing out I am replacing with Ikea Alex drawers so I hope they hurry up and tear up to be honest <laughs> and this is my desk and this is just old countertops out of a, my house when we done a kitchen redo but uh there's my my filming area normally uh my markers Copics and Spectrum Nor my scan and cut and I just ordered this uh from Stampin' Storage that holds all my Stampin' Up! inks and markers. I used to be a demonstrator, so I pretty much have them all. Um, my little Stampin' Up! containers I got during celebration. And that is some of my uh, punch storage. Um, I have quite a few more, but I didn't want to put them all up on the wall. So my Martha Stewart, a majority of them are in a drawer as a, a bunch of miscellaneous ones. And then here, I have one of these containers that hold inks and glitters and ribbon, just some miscellaneous stuff. And as you come around, on top of this here, I have my Stampin' Up! stamps that I did keep. I purged and destashed a lot after joining the Fun Stampers Journey. I have my washi and containers and just a few little odd and ends. And I've got some paper, cards, more stamp storage, and then I've got these containers here that hold just a, uh, like right here, it's just my stamping, uh, shipping stuff. And in this one, just twine and ribbons and laces, stuff like that, quite full. And this one, just... Things like an altar and decorate, you know, mini coffee cups, fry boxes, that sort of thing. And then a whole bunch of paper pumpkins. Yes. And then just more things, uh, crepe paper bags, stuff like that. Flowers of all kinds in there. And more flowers. Or just onions and the bottom row is basically the same I've got some 12 by 12 paper and some of those I'm not even gonna try to pull them out and then my rice car cart here and at the moment it's just got my big shot and some pin containers on it because I have been cleaning and purging so I've now got two empty shelves to do something with and then you come around I got my air conditioner and this rolling cart I've had for oh for years 
and it's got my Cricut and my Cameo too. And most of those drawers are empty, so I've got room to grow now. And you come on down, you got my trash can, more cubes, shelf on the wall that holds just odd ends, uh, planners, straws, decorations, just like I said, different things. And above there I have a shelf that just has some of my milk glass some projects I've done and then this wall has a bookshelf that has oh tons of stuff I've got a box up there that I decorated and holds some of my fancy laces and crowns uh, photo boxes that have embellishments and such in it my printer more odds and ends in the little containers those containers are all empty waiting to be filled uh, my cuddle, you know, cuddle bug folders, huh? And boxing folders. I'll get it right in a minute. But I have empty space to grow. And then glitters and odd and ends of rubber stamps, something like that, and bins. And then down on the last two is all my big dies. So, yeah. And then these drawers, like I said, these cubes here, it's just miscellaneous stuff. Um, a majority of this needs to be redone. I have not touched these cubes here. But a lot of the drawers are empty. And then here. I'm just miscellaneous papers. Uh, kits and stuff that I need to probably go through. But for now, it is fine. This file cabinet houses more punches. Like I said, I have a whole bunch and then this is just miscellaneous stuff in this one. There's my Fisker's big wide format cutter. I forgot the name of it. And then I've got these two file cabinets here that my husband brought me home from work. They are huge and they hold a lot. And I cannot get them all the way out because I have the stack stuff here. But it's all eight and a half by 11 card stock, printer paper or something like that. And then this side over here, I have uh, all my Stampin' Up cardstock is organized that I have. And the door under it will be the home of my Fun Stamper Journey cardstock. It's got some of the whipped cream, which is their white cardstock. And I've got a miscellaneous pack in here and some black. I've got to get some new folders. And the rest of these whole kids school memorabilia. And the bottom one is like my cords and stuff for all my devices. And that one over there in the corner is things I have altered and I need to do something with. Like give them away or something. I have a TV. And then some storage boxes. My husband bought me a whole bunch of those for Christmas. And he had them all sitting inside each other. And each one of them as I opened was something, you know, blanket, chocolate, uh, money, <laughs> different stuff. So it, it was really nice and cute. Um, like I said, that is pretty much my room. Uh, it's an 8 by 16 so it's not humongous. But it is plenty big enough for me to do what I need to do. And it is working great so far. Um, I, this is where I do most of my work at. Most of my creations are done right here sitting. Uh, like here recently. I'll show you real quick since I'm already on a video. I've made some cards with my Fun Stampers Journey May Bloom Box. Um, I love these cards. I love the doilies. And there's one more. I haven't finished it yet. If you're interested, uh, leave me a message and I can give you more information on this. This is another card I've made recently. Ain't it beautiful? But this is my scrap shed, <laughs> as I call it. And like I say, it is a work in progress, but I'm actually getting it to the point that I love. Oh, and yeah, there is a lot of stuff stored under the desk, too. More kits, uh, totes and stuff, my boxes to my cutters, 
and behind that desk under it to hold up the end is tons of empty storage and stuff that I don't use very often that I have stored there. But like I said, this is my little room and it is working great for me. Um, I do have air, I have heat, I have a little heater. Uh, I don't have to use the heat much. Being in Mississippi, we don't have much of a winter here lately. Now summertime, you need the air. But I don't run it 24-7, so it doesn't bother me. Um, but my husband, you know, helped me finish this building out. And he trimmed it all and painted it for me. But that's my little stuff still he brought me home. Because I'm about 5'1", five, five so I'm fairly short. And to reach things that I put up high, like there and there and all up there, I have to have a step ladder for I didn't want a big one, and that little one does great. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching my little room tour. Um, I can go and go through all the drawers if you would like. Just let me know. I just thought I'd do just a kind of overview of the room. Most of these drawers and those, those and those are all empty. Because I have de-stashed a lot here lately. Um, I gave gave away a lot to the church with the children's department, so, and to the schools. So, I've got room to grow. But, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And, I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, or if you can't understand me good. My throat's a little scratchy today. But, I wanted to get this filmed and posted, because, like I said, I've been in it for about two years now and I've been wanting to do it and I just keep forgetting to do it um there's always something going on and my girls are going to church camp right now so I figured this would be the perfect time so again thanks for taking the time to watch and stay tuned for some haul videos coming soon thanks